not only did she reinvent the meanings of sensuality and sex appeal, but she created a lane so authentic that it's irreplicable. One of the greatest artists who ever walked this earth who still lives to add to her legacy. Let's take a look into Janet Jackson's style evolution. As a younger member of a famous family, Janet's spotlight began early on. Janet always says that she truly is a tomboy at heart, and in her younger years, we see her comfortability with that style identity. In 1982, with the release of her debut album, the look she donned was casual and typical of a 16-year-old at the time. Her teenage career wasn't so glam-heavy, but we did see a stylish eye exemplified. This suit coat with cuffed sleeves that show the gray satin lining, it's subtle, but also shows she was curious about giving a look from the perspective of being a performer. Moving on to 1984 Dream Street, her second album. It's a perfect time for Janet to cultivate this style philosophy where she'll try anything and feel comfortable in being outside of the box. 1986, Janet releases the Pleasure Principle music video. Everyone wanted the Janet look, and this one was so simple. Guest jeans, an oversized t-shirt, hers was either Gautier or Comme des Garçons, and some wrestling shoes. But paired with Janet's attitude and talent, this look was alluring and special, and it's cool to see how attached to a look people could get because of their affinity for the person in it. Let's talk about Rhythm Nation. This film's short concept was inspired by the 1966 movie Blade Runner. However, the styling was inspired by another movie, Fahrenheit 451. If you're unfamiliar with the movie, it's an adaptation of the Ray Bradbury novel about a future society that has banned all reading material and the job of the fireman is to keep the fires at 451 degrees, the temperature that paper burns. But the main character, the fireman, begins to question his job and the society he contributes to when he meets this girl who loves books. In Rhythm Nation, Janet adopted this idea of an advanced centralized force. Obviously, I'm a fan of the concept. For the costumes, they added hardware on the neck and baseball caps to add a Janet glam to the uniforms. And this was also when she began wearing her signature key earring. In 1990, Janet launched the Rhythm Nation World Tour. The costumes followed the theme of the film short. Still a lot of black and silver, but billowier tops, more satin, and denim was added into the mix. And of course, blazers for everyone. This is the beginning of the 90s, and I think this is a great place to start regarding her red carpet looks. So we'll talk about that in part two.